hey, 2020 has been shit. For me, I ended up really sick and in the hospital. And then I went to Toronto for three months to get better. Then I got back and got my heart broken, which, you know, going to work after getting cheated on is feels like getting shot. And then the pandemic hit, that old chestnut, which has been really hard and awesome for a lot of people, losing their jobs. Also where I live, there's a drug crisis, so that's pretty heartbreaking. And then there's racial, racial injustice, just as a cherry on top. Nonetheless, I decided when I did come back to Lethbridge that I was gonna change my entire life, so I did. I lost 30 pounds and a lot of people see photos of me now or they'll see me in person and be like, holy shit, how did you do it? And the truth is, drastic, drastic life changes. I stopped drinking, <sighs> come on now. I reduced carbs, so obviously I'm Italian, no pasta, no pizza, no refined sugars like ice cream or anything that tastes extremely sweet and delicious. And that's one of the hardest things a person can do, I think. Like, it's everything. It's workplace donuts, it's happy hour drinks, it's going to the gas station and seeing that Kit Kat bar and not being able to grab three of them, which is what I used to do. And so people, I think they look at the health and wellness side and then someone says, okay, you gotta do make all these changes. And they're like, <laughs> screw that. And I totally understand that sounds, that sounds crazy. If you had said this to me a year ago, I would have said the exact same thing. But the truth is with a bunch of no's, over and over again, you can do it too. And I wanna show people that. I don't like the last angle. I feel like there was a lot of chin and I'm already not wearing makeup, so I don't need to be any more insecure than I already am. The truth is, yeah, that was really hard. It didn't make it easier. I mean, I had a friend who I lost this year. I had another friend who had a brain tumor, all the while trying to hold all of this together. And I know that you're going through stuff too. I also feel like I'm really slipping right now, you know, eating pub food and then three ice cream sandwiches is not exactly healthy from a 7-Eleven parking lot. So I'm gonna join a 12 week transformation challenge. It's through a company in Lethbridge called Perfect Fit For You that's already helped me lose about 30 pounds. And now I'm on their transformation challenge. Every week for 12 weeks, I'm gonna post a video to one, hold myself accountable, and two, follow along with me, please, for the ups and the downs, because it's not going to be easy. There's about 30 other people who are on this challenge, so cheer them on too. And I'm excited and a little bit nervous to show you everything and be really vulnerable. It's September 23rd, I'm sitting in my vehicle. I went homesick halfway through the day because I almost passed out at one of my shoots, interviews. Um, my stomach hurts, my head hurts, I've got shortness of breath, it's just, I'm not feeling so hot right now, so I'm going home to get some rest. Thankfully, I don't have any symptoms of the virus that shall not be named, but I got my first photos taken for the Perfect Fit For You Challenge, so it doesn't look like it's a good start. <laughs> It's September 25th, I'm in my car, which is where probably I'm gonna be doing a lot of these videos. And I received all of the info for the transformation challenge. I'm really, really excited and nervous and I'm reading about fats and carbs and macro counting and everything. And it's a little overwhelming given that I feel like the last week I've really fallen off of the wagon and been kind of a piece of crap, but I'm excited. It's 12.35 a.m. I'm in the drive-thru at a McDonald's, parked, um, and I have a McFlurry here. The most embarrassing part about it was him going, good morning, welcome to McDonald's. Mmm, yeah, it's the morning. And I had a bunch of pub food after the comedy show. I don't know why, I've just, it's like something in my brain snapped and I can't stop eating sugar and it is such an addiction and I'm just, Tomorrow is a new day, but it's ugh, it's so hard. I woke up Sunday morning right now and I'm really like jittery and I want Denny's. And of course there's nothing that I can have from Denny's. There's no reason I need, no like nobody needs 12 pancakes. But I woke up wanting that. So I'm just gonna give myself a moment, get myself in the right headspace and make a list of things I need to do to get through the day without doing that. 
It's Sunday. I just completed my very first grocery run of the challenge. And you got to go into the grocery store pretty much knowing that you can't eat most things that are in that store. You are going to be challenged at every single aisle except for fruits and vegetables. And it's a big store. I like to think I have a pretty healthy cart. And then all of a sudden I see baked goods. And then all of a sudden I see candy. And then all of a sudden I see ice cream, which is my biggest weakness. And you just gotta power through, man. You just gotta go in there with a the mindset of getting your fruits and vegetables, and getting the heck out.